right guys we're out here in the arizona desert looking for purple agate it's kind of like a chalcedony agate mix absolutely amazing i'm literally sitting in a pile of it you could find it anywhere you looked but we've kind of honed our search we've been here a few times now so we've narrowed it down and it's kind of this little ravine that we're in and i'll show it to you here in a second so you can see behind me this ravine that i'm talking about it's kind of like a wash area let me show you guys some of this stuff it's coming out of this entire little rock outcropping. And here's a good example right here. You can see some nice blue right in here. Some dark. It's starting to have the white bands on the outside as well as the inside. We brought the hammer and chisel so we can bang some stuff out if we need to. But there is so much on the ground that it really doesn't even require that. I mean, this stuff is just sitting here. You're kind of looking for a rough exterior, a little brown in color. Underneath that brown, you'll see the white, and then you'll get to that translucent middle if it's a good piece. And it's everywhere. So here's a good example of what we're looking for. Brown on the outside, a little rough. And then on the inside, chalcedony, violet colored. So pretty. This all used to be volcanic plain. What we're looking at is a bunch of hydrothermal energy that pushed all this fluid to the top and then it solidified. This is like the hardest thing around and it stayed intact throughout the years. What you got? Nothing too good. Something nice just sitting right next to my bag. Look at that. just glowing. It was just waiting on me. Oh my gosh. See, it's pretty translucent. Really dirty. I need to wash that sucker off. But The dimples. The translucency. Right, so through trial and error and cutting some of these things open in the past, I figured out that the green ones typically have a nice line pattern to them. Let's see if I can extract this one real quick. There's one next to it. So you can see that there is some white and even blue showing there. The red outside and the green outside typically both have really good lines. This is a perfect time to be hunting right now. The sun, you can see it just shining straight down onto this hillside. It's making anything with any translucency on it just glow. You can see a little egg right there. Just a little agate nodule able to be seen easily because that sun is just lighting it up. Perfect time of day to be digging. I just dug up this area looking for smaller green ones with good lines. The entire time, I'm right next to this. And it's just got so many lines in it. Just a violet, light blue color. Amazing piece right there. Get four, five, six slices out of that thing, possibly. Find of the day so far. Taking a break? Done digging rocks for now? It's not even noon yet. You only get 15 minutes, you know that, right? There's a good piece right there. I know you see it. Rough edges, but we could put it on the slab saw. Cut it into a nice little cabochon, make something out of it. Here's a couple more right here. They're just glowing. I mean, like we said, white bands inside just a purple, violety, blue matrix. It's just, it's gorgeous. And they are piles of them out here, as you can see. Spotted this little one right here some really good blue in there a lot of times you'll get inclusions of sand and soil kind of adds depth to them right next to it this one right here 
and that can slice into a couple necklaces, possibly even like a matching pair of earrings. Nice, thick enough. That's what we're looking for. A lot of them are thin. They're forming in the cavities of these rocks, so it's just little cracks that they're forming in a lot of times. They're less than a centimeter wide, but this one here is wide enough to make some good jewelry out of. All right, here's a good example of what we call a vein. It's the agate, but it doesn't look like it's jemmy enough. It's not really what we're looking for. This is a little more white, a little more chalky. This is another example of agate forming little pockets in the rock. Not usable, too big, not enough agate. Some of this stuff has cavities with quartz crystals inside of it, kind of like a geode. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but there's some small quartz crystals, probably half a centimeter tall in there. Not exactly what we're looking for, but cool nonetheless. Oh yeah, look at this one right here. Nice dark blue center to it. Oh yeah, that'll be a great cutter. One of the top finds right now. Put it number two. Ooh, right next to it too. Look at that one. Oh yeah. That's a cutter as well. Might be able to get a piece out of it. It's got that little brown area in there, but it's still a good one. I think I am in the zone right here. Keep the camera hot. Just pop around. It's a cool little band right there. It's like almost ready for jewelry. You can see that it's already pretty translucent. That's a perfect rock to exhibit the, the volcanic energy that was here. Just tons of little air bubbles turned into pockets, filled up with fluid, hardened fluid. Thousands of years later, boom. You get down there with the right light, you can just see these things glowing everywhere out here. You cannot miss. This is the honey hole. Agate. Agate. There's agate on the ground. Oh my gosh, there's agate on the ground. Okay, hey, there's a nice piece of agate on the ground. Oh yeah, that's good enough to cut right there, but let's not stop. We got agate on the ground. Nice little seam of it. Ooh, sitting right next to me. It's a little bit green. It's probably just the surface. Most of this stuff shows up blue when you cut it anyways. There's a good one right there. Oh yeah. See some white lines on the outside of it and that one will have some inclusions. There's another little good one right there. A little slice right next to this guy. Alright, I think I've spotted one, or maybe a couple of them. Come on, baby. it all the way through oh another little guy right there oh there's one right there by my foot too kind of tubular like I said they're forming in cracks and oh no what is that that could be great right there 
can see it there. You can see it there. Hopefully that thing is chalcedony all the way through. We will see when we chop it up. I'll let you guys know later. Yeah. Yeah, vein of it. I don't know if I have room for a whole vein. My pocket. Same. <laughs> Getting pretty full. How about just a piece? <laughs> right beside where I set my bag. One of the nicest ones I've found so far. Nice and thick. You can get five, six slices out of that thing. All of them are gonna be beautiful. You see the inside of that just included. Great find. Thank you, Hogan, for needing some water, buddy. Good boy. one of these little oval egg shaped ones you can see it's got some darker colors on the inside pretty dusty right now but we'll clean that one up should slice up nice kind of see the white lines starting to form right there with that jelly blue center okay Bigger flat plate, super purple color right in there. Some of them have the hematite nodules on them. And those actually polish really nice. I'm trying to save every one of these that I find. All right, just found a good one. You can already see some lines popping out. Oh yeah. See right in the middle there. There's there's so like a white star kind of a fortification type of agate. This thing is huge. Looks like it's clear all the way through. Found that one. And just around the corner, some people drinking beer right here. Not agate hunters apparently. Because that thing right there is gorgeous. Yeah. Alright, here's the majority of the hall. I'm going to show you guys around it. Kind of talk about a few of the different things that we found. We did find some quartz crystals and stuff. We can start out with that. Some actual terminated quartz crystals with proper structure. That was interesting. We hadn't found that on the last trip. And then here is a mineral that I wasn't familiar with that I thought maybe somebody watching would be. Very interesting. This is one of the bigger ones. You can see the styrations on the side of it. I guess that's the crystal structure. Again, if anybody knows, definitely comment down below. I'd be totally interested in hearing. Moving on, I did have some pieces, as you can see it backlit, that had hematite nodules inside of them. And that's something that is very rare in the agate world. You don't see it very often. Um, I had this one. You know, but look how many are in there. Hopefully I can polish that thing up. Put a clean polish right there. You'd be able to see them through it. I'd love to be able to display some of these rare agates. Kind of the, the odd ones. Moving on to some of the bigger, better finds of the trip found this one this morning you guys saw that come out and it's just really translucent two of these things very similar they're both wide enough to cut and get good stuff out of a dark blue with like a white pastel -y line combination makes it a really pretty necklace this thing right here the only one that we found with these red lines in it they kind of separate the crust from the blue Absolutely stunning. Can't wait to cut that one up. It's pretty rough. Don't know how many pieces I'm going to get out of it, but 
I'm gonna make sure and get at least one good one. And then this right here, we gotta talk about. It would be over there in the nodule, the little pea thing, but listen to this. It's got crystals on the inside. It's an agate geode with shakers. What? Insane. I didn't even realize that it was shaking until Angie grabbed it. Shook it up. <laughs> what? That's crazy. One of the coolest things we've ever found. And then this one from today, possibly one of my favorites. Let me lick it and see if I can get a good surface for you. There we go. You can see it just to the right of my thumb. This agate exhibiting the fortification display. You'll see agates display in three different ways with the lines, the eyes, and then the fortification, or the, the ones that kind of look like forts. So that thing is huge, and hopefully that little line pattern goes all the way through. That'd be awesome. We'll have to wait and see, though. That's part of the beauty. Bunch of other good ones. There's that thumb piece. A giant's thumbnail possibly and then we got some bigger ones that I'm looking forward to cutting some kind of thicker hopefully we get a couple good slices out of it make some cabochons what do you think Hogan <laughs> this is one that I dug last time that I was here couldn't believe that it had a circle straight through the center of it I gave it a couple clean cuts and then polished it up a little bit Hoping I was going to find a couple more of these this trip, but didn't end up finding it. I think it's thick enough for me to cut in half and then possibly make like a pair of matching earrings out of maybe just a cool necklace. This is, you know, this is indicative of what they're going to look like when they're cut. Really deep, dark blue that kind of turns gray, yellow as you put light through it. Gorgeous pieces. What do you think, Hoagie? <laughs> next video coming up and the rock hounding portion of my channel is going to include cutting these things and turning them into jewelry so look forward to that we'll see you there oh really oh, yeah, that's